Hello dear readers, welcome to Jiggy Insight. In this video we will discuss General Knowledge 2023 and this video is in part number 4. So let's get started. The first question is Article 371 of the Indian Constitution makes a special provision to which state? Correct answer is option number A, that is Nagaland. Here, Article 371A of the Indian Constitution makes a special provision to the state of Nagaland. Under Article 371A, which states that any law imposed by the parliament will not be considered applicable on Nagaland in the case which is related to social and religious practice of tribal Nagas. Next question, which, in which year Indian Forest Service was created? The correct answer is option number B, that is in the year 1966. Here, Indian Forest Service was established in the year 1966 after the independence, and the first Inspector General of Forest was is Hari Singh. Next question, who wrote the book Swaraj of the People? And here the correct answer is option number A, that is Jai Prakash Narayan. Here, Jai Prakash Narayan was an Indian activist, theorist, socialist, and political figure. He was born on October 11, 1902. Next question, Mahatma Gandhi started the Tandi March from which place? The correct answer is option number D, that is Sabramadi Ashram. Here, Mahatma Gandhi started the Tandi March from Sabramadi Ashram. Tandi March, also known as the South March, and the Tandi Satyagraha was an act of non-violent, Civil disobedience led by the Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. And the Tandi March was started on 12 March 1930. Gandhi set out for Sabramadi, Kucharat, with 78 followers and lasted to 6 April 1930. Next question The Indian Co National Congress for the first time officially demanded a constituent assembly to frame the Indian constitution in? The correct answer is option number B, in the year 1935. Here, the Indian National Congress met for the first officially demanded a constitution assembly in the year 1935. The idea for the constituent assembly was proposed in December 1934 by M. N. Roy. He was a pioneer of communist movement in India and advocate of radical democracy. The constituent assembly met for the first time on 9 December 1946 and its last session was held on 24 January 1950. Next question, in which session Indian National Congress passed a non-cooperation movement resolutions in September 1920? And here the correct answer is option number C, that is Calcutta session. Here, Calcutta session or Calcutta. In the Calcutta session, non-cooperation movement resolution was passed on September 1920. And the non-cooperation movement was a non-violent, non-violent protest against the Indian government of the British people. People were asked to quit their government job and remove their kids from this institution that were under British government control. And people were also urged to stop purchasing foreign goods, boycott legislation council election, and absent from enlisting in the British army. The main cause of the non-corporation movement was because during the First World War, Indian believed that they will receive autonomy at the end of the war as a compensation for personal and material support they had given the Brit uh, British. But British failed to fulfill their assurance and despite the Employment Relat Act 1919, which angered them even more and the Jalamala Park massacre, the tremendous and horrible killing, which lost the interest and confidence in the British legal system. And with this, and this led to the part of non-corporation movement in September 1920, but on February 1922, Mahatma Gandhi called off the non-corporation movement due to Chauri Chara incident in the Uttar Pradesh and violent crowd which killed 22 police officers. Next question, who was the president of provincial government of Free India set up in Kabul? The correct answer is option number C, that is Raja Mahindra Pradap. Here, Raja Mahindra Pradap was the president of provincial government of India. He also established the first provincial government of India at Kabul, Afghanistan on December 1st, 1951, sorry, 1915 during World War as a government of exile of free Hindustan. 
Next question, my policy ever since I came to India has been to rescue the Congress to impotence was said by whom? And the correct answer is option number A, that is Lord Consum. Here, George Nathaniel Gonzon succeeded Lord Eileen and served as Indian, India's viceroy between the year 1899 to 1905. He became the youngest viceroy of India at the age of 39. In the year 1905, the partition of Bengal was announced under Lord Gonzon's presidency. Next question, who wrote the rise and the growth of economic nationalism in India? The correct answer is option number D, that is Bibin Chandra. Next question, in which city, uh, sorry, in which country five flower leg is situated? The correct answer is option number D, that is China. Here, five flower leg is situated in China, and this site is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And five flower leg is surrounded with mountain, it colors, varies, and it is mesmerizing. Uh, Mesmerizing to observe. Next question. The outermost layer of the heart is called. The correct answer is option number A, that is epicardium. Here, the outermost layer of the heart is called epicardium. It is composed of the thin layer membrane that serve to lubricate and protect the outer section. Next question. Green Frontier Technology considered such as 1. Green Hydrogen 2. Electric Vehicles 3. Solar and Wind Energy Con Select the correct answer Here the correct answer is option number D that is Green Frontier Technology considered such as Green Hydrogen Electric Vehicles Solar and Wind Energy Next question Statue of Prosperity is located in which of the following state? Correct answer is option number C, that is Karnataka. Here, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled the Statue of Prosperity in Karnataka, Bangalore. The bronze name Statue of Prosperity was built to commemorate the contributions of Nandar Prabhu, Gambi Koda, the founder of Bangalore. The capital of Karnataka, Bangalore, was fortified by Gambi Koda in 1537. Next question, Utah appears a joint military exercise is conducted between which two nations? The correct answer is option number D, that is India and USA. Here, Utah appears a joint military exercise is annually conducted between India and USA. The main aim of Utah appears joint military exercise is to en engaging best practices, tactics, techniques between the two armies. Youth ABS is a joint military exercise bilateral occurring between India and US. It was started in 2002. Next question, which of the following rivers river is the tributary of Ganga? Correct answer is option number A, that is Son. Here, Son River is the tributary of Ganga. It originated from the Amarkanta Plateau of Plateau and flows in the northeast direction through Uttar Pradesh. So thank you for watching the videos and if you like the videos and can something from this video please do subscribe the channel and press the notification icon to get the latest update on this channel and if you need pdf of this video you can join the telegram channel general knowledge inside i will provide there the link will be given in the comment section so see you in the next video